My classic French onion soup gets its rich flavor from caramelized onion and beef broth. In a large saute pan, I've heated two tablespoons butter and olive oil. Yellow onions are best, but I'm using up all my end of the season onions today. I have a mixture of red, yellow, spring onions, and even leeks. To caramelize onions, think low and slow. I have my heat on medium low, and I'll allow the onions to cook slowly for 20 to 30 minutes. Okay, now that my onions have browned nicely, I'm gonna add a little bit of sugar to help speed up the caramelizing process. And And look at how much these onions have cooked down. Okay, I'm gonna turn the heat up just a tad. And we're gonna to try to get those really, really caramelized. Okay, these are sufficiently caramelized. I am going to, before I go on to the next step, I'm gonna save about a half a cup for, um, another recipe that I'm going to make, caramelized onion dip, and it's going to be absolutely delicious. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel so you'll be notified when I post that video. Okay, now we're going to add some garlic, and we're only going to cook this about another 30 seconds or so. Now we're going to deglaze with about a half a cup of vermouth dry vermouth. You could use white wine if you'd like, a dry white wine, like a Sauvignon Blanc or a Pinot Grigio. Now because I used a no-stick pan, we don't have very much to uh, scrape off here, but the vermouth gives it a really rich flavor. Okay, I am ready to make my soup. Over medium heat, we're going to add our caramelized onion to a nice large stock pot. I'm gonna season with some pepper. And we're gonna add about eight cups of beef stock. I'm adding a few bay leaves and a couple sprigs of fresh thyme. One final addition is a little bit of Worcestershire. You could use brandy if you have it. We'll bring it up to a simmer. Let it cook for about half an hour so that all those flavors meld together. And then we'll be ready to plate. So earlier today, I cut some baguette and toasted it in the oven. Now I'm just going to put a little bit of Gruyere cheese on it, put it under the broiler until it melts, and then serve it on top of our soup. Our soup is done. Our little baguettes are finished. Now it's time to plate. Ah, look at that beautiful, rich, caramelized onion, French onion soup. Now all I'm going to do is just top it off with a little baguette and we're done. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget, for more great recipes, subscribe to our YouTube channel, Gourmet Are Good Enough. Until next time, ciao. Mm-hmm, it's good.